We continued our journey off the beaten path as we headed south. We wanted to find out more about the legend of King Arthur and see how this tale became so deeply ingrained in Welsh folklore. We went to a small church in Pennell to meet an Arthur historian. He was the last Welsh hero. We'd lost all our integrity, our pride, and then at the beginning of the sixth century, this savior figure emerged, and for about 50 years, we were able to keep all the invaders, the Picts, the Romans, uh, the Romans had left the Anglo-Saxons at bay. So that's why he has become not just historical, but a mythical figure. Arthur's legend was given a boost by Geoffrey of Monmouth, who wrote the history of the kings of Britain in 1138. The best way to compare it is with the whole Da Vinci Code. It's as simple as that, okay? Geoffrey of Monmouth, if you like, Dan Brown. He took a legend that had historical roots. He took these stories and then embellished them, add a little bit from here, a little bit from there, and produce one of the most popular stories that you've had in Europe probably ever. Um, because within his own generation, those stories were being printed and printed and distributed among, yes, the rich and the wealthy. Um, exactly the same as Dan Brown. Myth or reality, Arthur is still a powerful figure in the Welsh psyche. Every defeated people wants a hero. So he was our hero. We made a lot of those 45 odd years. When there, were, when there was peace and when the Saxons were kept back, it's natural you go back to those moments. Um, but after that, he's been used by the English crown, he's been used by everybody. Um, recently, of course, he was by Hollywood. You know, so he's one of those figures that has been used and abused down the centuries. But uh, he's still our, you know, he's still our long-awaited one. This area is steeped in Arthurian lore. It's said he fought his last battles in the hills nearby. He might still feel at home among the sparsely populated areas along the Cardigan coast. <laughs>